We know it was the Wuhan lab. After all that, two years later, right, all those different bands and all of that, nope, now, now suddenly they're like, well, actually, it kind of was. You know, that Wuhan, sorry, Wuhan lab that Fauci was connected to. Can we just put that in there before people forget and move on from that too? And for claiming that the Wuhan Institute of Virology might be connected with the outbreak that existed around the area of the lab. We were conspiracy theorists, well, then we were science deniers, then we were xenophobes and racists, and now we're just... right. Yeah, um, they even had to rename the virus to protect the Chinese and the Chinese government. Do you remember that? Do you remember when it was called the Wuhan coronavirus? And then suddenly we were called racist for calling it the Wuhan coronavirus? And then the World Health Organization? in order to protect China, who were among its top funders, had to uh, go in and rename it to COVID-19 because that means nothing and nobody can be offended. I remember. I'm sure a lot of you t do too. The attempts to appease the Chinese government endure. I mean, frankly, I think that the response to the virus uh, ended up causing more harm than the virus itself, but that's doesn't matter. It's unrelated. The media and government officials at this point are both so in bed with China that they're willing to sacrifice just about anything and everyone. And by the way, speaking of the media, did you know that Disney cut a Simpsons episode in Hong Kong that mentioned forced labor camps? Today our pedal odyssey will take us on the Great Wall of China. So sit back, enjoy, and jidei bushui! That means remember to hydrate! Behold the wonders of China! Bitcoin mines, forced labor camps where children make smartphones, and romance. I mean, like, it's one thing. I remember that certain shows have removed, like, Winnie the Pooh references to appease China, and that's just kind of silly and trivial and indicative of the fact that they have a dictator over there. But when you're actually removing the mention of forced labor camps, what kind of moral conce concession is that? Just like, well, we don't really care about the labor camps that much because we care more about the Chinese money. That's what it says. I'm not sure how a person can go, you know, that's okay. And I can still sleep at night after doing that. Because um, I couldn't. Uh, the the media and our government officials just kind of look the, way, the other way in regards to China, regardless of the fact that we have just this extensive human rights abuse history that continues, right? These, these things aren't being fixed. They still have their camps for religious minorities. They're still actively engaging in the persecution of Christians and the desecration of churches. They're still, as far as we know, organ harvesting from their living prisoners. I mean, none of these are conspiracy theories. These you can actually look up and, and find the, the, the data on, if you're, if you're willing. I mean, I, I can't promise that you'll be able to sleep at night, but you can read about the, the organ harvesting out of the prisoners that are being held in those camps without having been committed any real crimes. Um, and then there's of course the social credit score system, which is particularly interesting because of how it seems to mirror what some of our uh, leaders over here in the West want to create. For those who don't know, the social credit score is a system in which each individual is given a type of score on the basis of their behavior, which then impacts how free they are, how free they are to send their kids to certain better schools, how free they are to travel via their public transportation system, and so on. Um, and also to get out. You know, you can't like fly if you have a bad enough social credit score. But we've seen the sort of beginnings of that in the West, but it's a lot, it's a lot calmer and milder. Under COVID, you certainly saw some uh, people who sought that for the, the unvaccinated would be punished through some kind of social credit score-like system for their non-compliance. You, you kind of see the connections there. In Canada, uh, truckers lost access to their bank accounts for protesting against uh, lockdowns that were taking place and that were devastating them and their families. In the US, um, certain people have lost access to their bank accounts. You know, in the, this is in the private sector without, as far as we know, government involvement, but it's kind of iffy even there. Um, because those people were in some ways rebels against the system. So people like Andrew Torba, the CEO of Gab, Lauren Witzke, uh, Enrique Tario, Laura Luma, um, these people have lost access to their bank accounts, which we don't tend to think of as something that would happen here in the West, and yet here we are. And people who are not 
on the political right are now becoming more concerned about the power in the banking system a little too late around the time that certain banks are collapsing and those on the right are, or at least some of those on the right are celebrating. And of course banks are collapsing despite a wonderful Biden economy or so we're, or, or so we're told. Yes. So what it really comes back to is the conspiracy theories theorists are, are right. They've been right. They were right. And yet there's no grand apology for any of this. There are still things that I can't say as long as I'm on one of these platforms. If you're, if you're watching uh, me on the red platform, I love the, the kind of pun there. Um, there's still, still certain things that I can't say about the, the responses that we had to that virus. And even as the data comes out showing the harmful nature of the response to that virus, you still can't say it. That's where we are. But I think that what we need is more people speaking on the ground to their friends and family because that's ultimately how real changes get made from, from small communities outwards. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.